Hey guys, Bing here. Today I'm going to show you how to use a curtain panel pattern based to model this uh, honeycomb pattern. Okay, so first let's create, create let's create a new mass and then reference rectangular shape and then create form and select this face, divide face. So you may notice that um, there's a hexagon pattern here but this is not the one we're looking for so even even I change I change this to fix uh, fixed distance both for meter so you will see that the pattern is not right so so uh, yeah we need to do it uh, differently so we let's go back to so this sh uh, this shape so I just do a new one so create so we need to find the pattern so so we can uh, model it so this I'll just show you so um, so one two three four and now you can see the pattern here so right so if I go to rabbit um, drop down so this is the one we're going to use so one, uh, one, uh, what do we call it? One half step, one two step. So uh, maybe I'll need to uh, rotate it for 90 degrees. So yeah, and also I'm going to roughly um, change the grid so the scale will close close to this one. All right. So now let's create the family. So new family. Curtain panel pattern based. Pick this grid and then change that to this. And go. Uh, I'll also uh, roughly change this. So yeah, it's clo close, closer to the scale. So now let's um, create a spline, reference line, and then we need a point on this on this here so let's go back to this image so so now we have this uh, I'll do it here so now we have this uh, uh, reference on here so and then we, we need to find this point so we need to find uh, um, where exactly this point is it so because that's a hexagon shape so if this one equals a this one is a as well and also this one will be 30 degrees so this one will be a divided by 2 okay so which means this point is a one third from here to here so this is Second uh, half a is the a. So go back to rabbit, select this point. So see this one. So we just need to type in a equals one divided by three. So now we can select these two points, spline, spline, and spline. So yeah, I'm not going to model the uh, a sweep or an extrusion or anything just use model line okay model line so yeah because this exercise um, is just talking about the pattern so now we can load this into the mess and then select this family 7 so yeah close okay so it's still not perfect because we still need to work out the relation between this uh, u grid and the v grid okay so let me let me just uh, uh, try to find out which ones which is uh, which ones you agree so do, let's do a dimension three meter do we have a three meter yeah three meter here so this is v can I do a text no can I do something there no anyway so this is v and uh, I I'm pretty sure so if I do new one so this is 
USB and I'm pretty sure this one is U okay so if I uh, con connect this and then this is 90 degrees so this is 30 degrees so tangent 30 degree equals B divided by U so V equals tangent 30 degree times U okay so now we have this formula go back to Revit so we're going to um, create this so this is V let's call it V okay and okay and then this one let's call it U okay and okay so go and then family types um, V equal taking 30 degree times U V equals take 30 degree <coughs> excuse me times U and apply so now should be perfect so yeah perfect so now it's a perfect honeycomb pattern and uh, um, you can change you can just change this um, so like 3 meter so V will change accordingly okay so that's it it's a very simple uh, exercise if you have any questions just let me know and uh, um, I'll see you next time thank you bye